Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 5. So, let's continue where we left off. I did end with a bit of a cliffhanger, but we'll actually be fine if we block the way with a scout. Remember that a scout in Vox Populi has 10 combat strength, which is only one less than a spearman. And I got survivalism 2 on this guy. He'll be fine. Not to mention we can hit the spearman with two more units, the archers. So I can almost kill him actually. There. There's no way he can do anything. So we also got an archer here. I don't think I want to do anything with him. Maybe even back up slightly. Send him east. Alright then, that will do. And let's continue the road. And we can fortify on top of the forest. Also, I'm strongly considering trying to build the hanging gardens. We can do it in 9 turns. It would be a very nice wonder to have. And even if you fail to build it, that's fine. We won't lose too much time. In fact, it would be way faster than 9 turns. Because we just got a missionary. And we got Council of Elders, which means our holy city will get production every time we convert a city to our religion for the first time. So, we will get at least one good production boost for the Hugging Gardens. It should be worth at least like three turns of our production. So, that's what we'll do. Anyway, we also got a Spearman. And... Right, let's maybe start upgrading some of the Vultures. The difference is actually not that big, because the Vulture has base 9 combat strength, unlike the Warrior, which has 7. And the Spearman has 11. So the difference is not really that big. Yeah, he's backing up with the Catapult. And as you can see, we didn't even take that much damage on the Scout. So, now we can kill the Spearman. We are also... Oh no, we did get a promotion. Logistics. Logistics on turn 111. That might be the earliest I ever got logistics. So, kill this guy. And then let's see if we can kill the Catapult. If not now, then definitely on the next turn. Yeah, we can do it on the next turn. I might just stay here and fortify until healed. Yep, sounds good to me. And what else can we do? Let's see, we got an archer coming. Alright then. I can hit him with my own archer. I could kill him, but that might be a little bit risky. Only 54 health on the spearman. So let's do it like this. Yep, that's much better. And go convert Medina. You will stay where you are. Yep, this is fine. So, one of our ziggurats is almost done. I think that's the last one we need, one of the last. He wants to peace out. I'm not interested just yet. We can kill at least another unit or two easily. We can kill the great general, I think. No, damn it. I'm just a little bit too far away. Oh yeah, this road is actually pillaged. If it wasn't, I would be able to kill the great general. Okay, that's very disappointing. But we can kill the catapult. There it is. Let's follow it then, shall we? Although, a scout on his own is probably not enough. Alright then. This is fine. Yeah, not much I can do about that general. I can attack him with an archer, but that's about it. I can't actually kill him, unfortunately. So, now we can convert Medina, and let's see how many turns that will save us. Three turns, very nice. 64 hammers and 64 science. Council of Elders is pretty damn good. So, let's move in with the spearman. Maybe away from the catapult. It is on a hill, so it would be able to attack us. Here, we'll end our turn on the road. It's still not safe to kill that archer. We will lose the spearman if we kill the archer right now. So, let's maybe not do that. You will stay in our capital. How's that road? I mean, camp. It's done. Here we go. Let's check the yields. Yep, looking good. Should we work the library? We could. Alright, let's do that then. Yeah, the city won't grow that quickly anymore. Not until we get some more improvements. 
maybe connect that fish. I could buy it, but that would be a little bit too expensive for my taste. So let's maybe not do that. Alright, next. We can peace out in Eternal too. Wait, what? Are you crazy? <laughs> I'm not giving you Damascus back, forget about it. But we might need some more defenses around there. It's not even connected with a road, so I wouldn't be able to reinforce it easily. As for our missionary, yeah, let's go to Damascus, that should be fine. We could also convert Mecca. That's an interesting idea. But first, I'd rather convert my own city. Sounds good. So, can we kill anything? And not really, not right now. Okay then. Well, no problem. Maybe on the next turn. And caravan. We are at minus 12 now. We are getting a penalty from war weariness. So I guess this would be a good moment to end this war. We could send a trade route to either Arabia or Ram. Wait, what is this? A settler? But I can't do anything because there's a spearman on top of him. Well, that's unfortunate. We can still attack, if only to get experience. But unfortunately, I can't finish him off. Which is fine. So, yeah, I think that's going to be it. We did enough damage. Let's end this. How much can we get? Probably not a whole lot. We can get some gold. One gold per turn and some flood gold. 112. Yep, that will do. Here, done. Okay then, and now we need to work on our city development a little bit. And let's send at least one more unit to Damascus. Just in case. Better safe than sorry. Alright, as for the caravan, let's send it to Ram. Yeah, that's going to be plus four science for us. Okay then, so what's next? Probably the citrus, definitely a good idea. Can we sell anything? Possibly. Maybe. Let's check Arabia real quick. He has way more gold per turn now, yeah, and he will pay us a lot for the citrus. Nine gold per turn. Nice one. I think that's going to be it for now, unless I want to sell horses. We could sell like one horse to Venice. Yeah, let's give them a favorable trade to improve their opinion about us just slightly. Okay, so... Oh, did we fail to build the Hanging Gardens? Yeah. Oh well, that's fine, I tried. We converted the production into 38 culture. So, one more vulture and then... Stoneworks. That's going to be 13 out of 15 units. Religion founded. Who founded a religion? Let's see, Ram founded a religion. Alright, good for him. That is a little bit annoying because I suppose that means I won't be spreading my religion to him. And he might try to spread his religion to me. But oh well. Someone was going to found a religion one way or the other. Kind of hard to avoid that. I think that's going to be the last vulture, because it will cost us a lot of money to upgrade all of them. How many do we have? Five. Wait, five? Okay, I might actually get a few more then. We need good balance. So, one more road. Okay, then back into the city. And back into our territory. I'm really happy that we got logistics on one archer. That's going to be so good. And grab the plantation. Oh, and we still got a barbarian camp in here. Might want to go and get rid of that. Not to mention we'll get some bonuses out of that. There's the ziggurat. What did we get? Gain golden age points and faith whenever a citizen is born in this city. Plus one global happiness. Oh, that's very nice. Let's maybe grab city walls. I don't feel quite safe. Yeah, and Venice might get some silly ideas. They don't exactly like us too much right now. And that city is a little bit too exposed for my taste. 
and I can't reinforce it easily. So, yeah. We need a road to connect it. As soon as possible. Right, convert it, that will give us production in our capital. So, stoneworks will be done on the next turn. And let's maybe move the logistics archer to another city. Yeah, we'll keep him around here, in the center. That's quite a few units. Yeah, we might need some extra military techs. Before our next war with Rami, because there is going to be another war. If I don't attack him, then he will attack me. I can pretty much guarantee that's going to happen. We could grab an order, but I'm thinking we should get a few more missionaries, actually. Or we could enhance our religion. But I'd like at least one more missionary, I think. Yeah, we could convert two more cities easily. We could even convert Ram's cities. While it's easy to do so, because remember, we will get production every time we convert a city to our religion for the first time. And it will be much harder once he starts spreading his religion. Well, in any case, we'll get a missionary still. Alright then. So, next. We should be back in positive happiness soon enough. It won't be a big problem, I don't think so. Okay, we got a skirmisher coming in our general direction. I don't think so, buddy. I got slightly different plans. Alright, you go west. We can send the scout as well. And one archer. Sure, why not? Okay, looks good. You will go to Damascus. And we could probably use another worker. Yep, one more worker. And then a caravan or a cargo ship. Well, no, a caravan will be better, I suppose. Alright, so caravan first. What's our second top production city? That would be Erido. Okay. The walls can wait. Okay, looks good. And we can finish authority. So that will give us honor. All our units will gain plus 10% strength. And supply-free military units will spawn near our cities when they reach a multiple of 10 citizens for the first time. And war weariness will be reduced by 25%. Here. There we go. Alright, next. We are actually pretty close to 10 population in our capital. Sort of, we just need more food around it. Hey, where do you think you're going? I don't think so, buddy. Right, we can do it like this. We'll take a temporary happiness penalty because of no garrison, but that's okay. It's only one. Alright then, and we'll need to get rid of the camp, obviously. As for the caravan... Yeah, let's send him to Arabia. Sounds good. Convert our city. First, let's queue something up. Scrivener's office, definitely. So, there it is. Plus 70 hammers and plus 70 science. And next, I think we'll enhance our religion. Definitely a good plan. Herbalist. Or maybe a worker first. We still need more workers badly. We need so many improvements around our cities. Citrus? How much are you paying? Not a whole lot, but I think I'll go for it anyway. I don't think we'll get a much better trade with the people we made contact with so far. And there's philosophy, so now we can get a courthouse. Or four courthouses. Okay, so first city walls. And then courthouse. Medina courthouse after the library. What else? This city right here? Yeah, that will take a while. Might be worth getting a granary first. And we got an emissary to use. Where do we even send him? Good question. Well, it doesn't really matter. We can send him here. We got 34. Influence. Okay, sure. That's a religious city-state, but that is still useful. We got one more use on the missionary. 
I could convert a city-state, that is not a terrible idea. That is actually worth considering. Alright, let's convert a city-state. Works for me. And the road is done. Right? Yes. Okay then. So, barbarians. Might be a good idea to back up slightly. Although, we should be fine. We'll be fine. The Handaks won't do that much damage. I can almost kill him, actually. Yeah, he'll be dead on the next turn. Back into Medina we go. Hey, Arabia, what are you doing? Please stop. Yeah, we might want to send some defenses in that direction. And start upgrading our vultures. Definitely a good idea. Especially these. Okay, that's 400. Let's just upgrade all of them. Yeah, might as well do that. So they kept their special promotions. Where is that one? Yeah, First Emperor. That's one of the better ones. And the River Scout. They kept that as well. So, science. I'm thinking masonry and then engineering. Yeah, we definitely need composite moment before the next major war. That's a no-brainer. Oh, and we could try to build the Oracle. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. We can convert Quebec City and get a production bonus. That would be nice. So, back to Barbarians really quick. That scout is pretty close to a promotion. So let's get the kill for the scout. Like so. 25 culture, nice. Yeah, what is Arabia doing? I have no idea, but I don't like it. Let's be careful about that. So, you guys are going to chill in this area. And... Plantation. Then we can convert Quebec City. Here. So that's how many hammers? Didn't quite catch it, but we only need four more turns. For the Oracle. It might still be worth getting another missionary. That production bonus is so good. And we can easily convert several more cities. Yeah, you know what? Let's get one more. Here. Works for me. So, fortify. And what do we do first? Maybe finish that farm. Only three turns to repair the horses. So let's do that then. Okay then, looking good. How's the tech count right now? Let's take a look. We got 18. Ram has 18. Venice has 20. And Arabia has 15. We need to make contact with other sieves. But easier said than done. Also, I would really like to connect Damascus with the road. Let's maybe get started on that at least. One more upgrade. And back into our territory. So. Missionary. We could convert Ram's cities, or we could convert the city-states. I might actually convert Ram's cities. It is tempting. We could easily convert this one. He won't like it, but it's not like he's going to like us anyway. He most certainly is not. Okay, sure. We could also convert Arabia. Now, that might be a good idea. Arabia is a little bit behind, but they don't have their own religion. So, we could give them one. I like that idea, actually. So, we still need a plantation to the west. But we also need farms. Alright then. As for you. Let's chop that forest. And get a mine instead. And queue something up. I'm thinking a lighthouse. We don't have the fish just yet, but we'll have it eventually. Or a trireme. We might be able to explore a little bit. Okay, let's get a trireme. It certainly won't hurt. Alright, next. So, how long will the courthouses take? 12 turns. Yeah, it will take a while. But we could chop the forest down here and speed it up. Not a bad idea, actually. Might be worth considering. 
Yeah, let's maybe do that then. Just give him an escort. Alright then. Yeah, Ram is definitely gathering an army. I can't blame him. I would probably be doing exactly the same thing. It might be a good idea to get a defensive citadel at some point. Yes, yeah, somewhere around here. That certainly wouldn't hurt. But we'll see about that. There's no rush just yet. Fill up. And let's go convert. To Arabia, right. To give Arabia a religion. Alright then. So, two more turns to get the oracle. I hope we're going to get it. AI usually doesn't like building the oracle too much. There we go, we got it in one turn actually. So that will instantly give us 500 culture and science, scaling with era. And it will reduce illiteracy in all our cities. The temple part doesn't matter because we already what got a temple drama, technically. So that gives us drama and poetry. And next up, yeah, I'm thinking education to get some universities. Yep. And now we can upgrade our archers. So first, the logistics guy. That's going to be 70 gold. We only got a total of three archers. So I guess we can upgrade all of them. Chop the forest and let's go to Arabia. Oh, our religion already spread on its own. Nice. That's why we got the oracle faster. I'm still going to convert his capital. We can get a diplomatic bonus with him if we get our religion in the majority of his cities, which shouldn't be too hard. So... Oh yeah, we were repairing the road, not the actual pasture. Let's finish the farm then. That will be slightly more useful. And I'm going to move the great generals a little bit. So... Oh yeah, the great wall, that would be a nice wonder to have. You know what? Let's try to build the Great Wall. That would make it so much easier to defend ourselves. And we can get one production bonus for it. Two bonuses, actually, with our missionary. Yeah, we might be able to get it. There's a pretty damn good chance we'll get it. Right, what's next? I'm thinking market. We'll need the money. Or actually, no, let's get a worker first. We still need so many workers. And we might want to watch our backs. That's the reason why I wanted the Great Wall. It will make defending ourselves so much easier. So we'll give it a shot. It's under construction. As you can see, the actual wall around our border. Is this going to be enough? For conversion? Yes, nice. So, five more turns. Okay, and we can spread one more time at least. Can we get open borders with him or something? No. All right. Well, that's fine, I suppose. Five turns to finish the farm. All right, then. So, you will go in here and to this guy to Medina or so. Sounds good. Six turns to chop the forest. That will speed up the courthouse. And we'll keep the city state friendly. We could send one more, but I got slightly more important things to do at the moment. Arido. I guess we could get a missionary, or rather an emissary in Arido. Yeah, that's fine. And convert some city-states. We could just dedicate Arido to emissaries right now. It's not a terrible idea. Our capital is a little bit too busy right now, as you might have noticed. So, let's get all these improvements. Might want to move some kind of escort to that worker. So, a spearman. Well, this guy. And keep the scout in our capital. Okay. Well, let's do that then. I don't feel comfortable with that worker just standing there on his own, surrounded by units. We can't go to war just yet, can we? No. We still got a peace treaty. But it won't last much longer, I can tell you as much. Only 10 turns total. Foreign great diplomat. Okay, oh. I just used my emissary on that city-state. 
that is a little bit annoying, but all right, whatever. So our missionary is down to 500. Might want to move him out of here. We could try to convert one more city. This one might be doable. First, let's move outside of his borders, shall we? I'm just looking around. I don't think 500 will be enough to convert Florence, although it might be. Okay, let's move outside of his border first. And do we have the bonus yet? No, because that's two out of four cities. Okay. Fine. So, you will go into Medina. And let's grab that spearman, shall we? I'll get a replacement unit for the garrison soon enough. That's one of the upgraded vultures too. Same with this guy, so we'll need a replacement garrison. Can we go to war yet? Yes, we can. Okay, so he could also go to war with us. Just something to keep in mind. Yeah, let's maybe move our units a little bit closer to his border. And I think we could use more units in general, to be honest. Yeah. We need that great wall. Like, right now. I really hope we are going to get it. We can always get a defensive citadel if we really want to. It's an option. Might be worth considering at some point. Most sophisticated cultures. <laughs> First six are at seven. That's the number of social policies. So, do we want to convert one more city from Arabia? I can't really go through his territory because I lost strength. I don't think 500 is enough to convert Florence, so let's go this way. Sounds good. So, well, I guess we're ready for a potential war. Sort of. About as ready as we are going to be. Just need a few more units once the Great Wall is done. And maybe a wall in here. Yeah, that will take a while. He is almost certainly going to declare war on us at some point. I expect that to happen. But not just yet. Yeah, not just yet. Okay then, there's the Great Wall, nice. I feel so much safer already. That's going to be so good. It looks a little bit weird, but alright, whatever. Doesn't matter. And we got a great general. So now we got three great generals. Let's see, we could get a citadel like over here. That will be out of bombardment range of both his cities. Yeah, that is not a bad location. We could get one on top of the hill, which would make it more effective, but... It will be a less optimal location. We could also grab it like over here, but then it will be in bombardment range. I don't think this will be the best spot for the citadel. We'll also grab some territory around it. Yeah, I think that's going to be the best. Anyway, what's next? A few units. We could also get orders for our cities, but right now I would like to enhance my religion. Let's focus on that. And let's get some swordsmen. Actually, first, before we recruit any units, let's get barracks. No point recruiting any units without barracks at this stage. And the barracks in here, this is our second top production city, if I'm not mistaken. And now, actually, Erido is. And is busy with the emissary right now. And let's finish that one emissary, then we'll get barracks again. And actually, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.